guys, I'm really excited to be filming this video. I haven't filmed a video in such a long time. First off, I just wanna say sorry for the lighting. I'm working on it, it's not my house yet. <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to kind of figure out where to film and where the best spots in the house are to film. Today I'm filming my everyday makeup routine. It's kind of changed a little bit. I'm looking very pale, so I am actually gonna go and fake tan after I film this. So my face is probably gonna look a little bit darker than my body because I am as pale as a ghost. I thought this would be a really fun way to kick off the new year because I've been doing my makeup slightly differently. I definitely wear a lot less makeup thanks to quarantine. I just don't feel the need to put a lot on my face. And I thought it would be a good way to kind of just catch up, tell you what I'm up to, things are going to be changing, things I'm going to be doing in the new year, and just have a little chit chat with you all. So I'm just going to stick the top part of my hair up so it's out of my face because there's nothing more annoying than that um, when you're trying to do your makeup. And I just want to say that I've already moisturised my skin. I've actually got the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream for Christmas, which is literally sent from heaven. It is so, so good. As you can see, my skin just looks really, really even, really nice. It looks very pale, <laughs> but it looks very even and nice. I do have a rash around my face here, which I've had for a little while now. But other than that, my skin just feels like really hydrated and when i'm not wearing makeup i just feel really confident so if you're looking for a new moisturizer i would 100 percent recommend it the charlotte tilbury magic cream i've heard so many people go on and on and on and on about it and it is so so worth it it's definitely a product i'm going to be repurchasing it's the best moisturizer i have ever used next i'm going to go in with primer i'm going to be using the ysl touche Clar, um blurring primer i love this it's just got a little gold specks in and it really does just blow your skin out and make it look very smooth and airbrushed. It just looks lovely when you pop it on. I don't know if you can tell the difference instantly, but I feel like it really does just smooth the skin. Any problems with like pores and stuff like that will just be like gone pretty soon after you've put it on. Now I'm going to go in with concealer. I like to use two concealers. These are the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I use the shade 20 for like here, here, around the side of my nose, my mouth my jaw and then I add the lighter concealers underneath my eyes just to add a little bit more depth to my face and brighten up my eye area. So first big change of 2020 is I'm starting a podcast. I'm really excited. It's called Under the Covers. I asked for names on Instagram with like help with names because I was just stuck. I had a few that I really liked, one of which was The VU. I thought that just sounded really cool and obviously my name is Victoria Underwood so it would be like The VU. But I put a poll on Instagram and you guys seemed to really like the name under the covers, which obviously ties in with my last name as well. And I feel like it gives a bit more of like a chilled out vibe for the podcast, which I like. And also, I can totally see the branding with it. I'm not at home right now, as you can tell. I'm actually in Oxford, which I'll talk about a little bit more later. So I can't take the like podcast image at the minute because I need my bed but I think I'm gonna put my hair in rollers put this little um thingy on that I've got from Victoria's Secret and just like painting my nails and that can be like the podcast cover because I do want the podcast to be very chill one of the other names I was considering calling it was the big gay podcast also these brushes are amazing they're from Joy Adenia I think that's how you say it um they're really really good I'll link them in the description um hashtag gifted but they are really, really good. I use them every single day. But yeah, I was gonna call it the Big Gay Podcast, but I felt like that really backed me into a corner. If you know what I mean? Like I feel like calling it the Big Gay Podcast, I'd kind of feel like I could only talk about like LGBTQ plus issues, which my sexuality isn't who I am. It's just a part of me. So I kind of didn't want to put too much emphasis onto it. I mean, my sexuality is a big part of me, I think, personally, because it's something that it kind of took me a really long time to deal with. Once I did manage to deal with it, I kind of just accepted it wholeheartedly. And I have no, like, problems letting people know I'm gay. So I like that name, but I didn't want to be, like, backed into a corner. And I just wanted it to be kind of a podcast where I can talk about anything that I'm feeling. So if you're looking for a new podcast, I would recommend my own. Because I'm really excited about it. And I listen to a lot of podcasts and I kind of feel like I'm feeling maybe a bit of a gap in like the podcast market because i'm going to be talking about like a plethora of things i'm going to be talking about business being a lesbian very like girly topics such as like hair products beauty products i'll throw things like that in new things i've been loving i'll throw a bit of fitness in law of attraction there are going to be so many things in this podcast that i'm just so excited about i feel like i'm just going to cover like so many different bases which is just exciting for me because i love listening to podcasts 
and I can talk for England and I just really feel like I can do a good job of this. So once the first episode is up, it might only be up when you're watching this video, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to try and film it tomorrow. If you can, I will link it in the description. Please go check it out. It's me using some powder. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Acid Powder, I think is what it's called. I'm going to be using this big fluffy brush. This is 001, just to add the powder onto my face and really pat it in. I will link it below. I know it's expensive, but this powder airbrushes your face. It is absolutely magical. I don't know how on earth it does it. It just makes you look like you're on the front of a magazine in real life. If you have skin that just like you have pore problems or maybe like oil control problems, it mattifies without making your face look flat and like you've got like chalk on your face, something like that. It's just the perfect powder. It airbrushes your skin. It just is the best powder I've ever used. Definitely way better than the Laura Mercier powder, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna be using the same brush and just adding a little bit of NYX matte bronzer. The next thing I wanna talk about is the fact that I made an OnlyFans account. I'll also link that in the description. I'm really excited to see how people respond to it. It'll be very interesting. I made it this morning, just seeing how I get on with it. It's mental how many girls who follow me have an OnlyFans account. I've had so many messages from people saying, I've got an OnlyFans account, blah, 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 which is mental. So, so many of you guys have OnlyFans, which is crazy. I'm just gonna stick that down my neck, just to warm that up a little bit. I will go and fake tan afterwards because my body isn't as pale as it looks on camera, but it is pale. Just warming the face up a little bit. I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I don't really know what to say about it, but I do have an account, definitely go and subscribe to it. I'm reposting every single day on there, which I don't know if that's like too much or too little or what the case may be, but I'll be posting every single day. So definitely go check it out. And I'm really excited about it. It's really different. Other things that are changing in my life is that I'm actually moving to Oxford soon. I wasn't going to talk about it yet, but I feel like with my job, it's just kind of like pretty obvious that I'm somewhere else and I'm not at home and I've had like a million questions about it already so i thought i might as well just say it yes i am moving to oxford which i'm really excited about i'll be moving i'm here right now during lockdown obviously can't really be traveling back and forth and i decided that i wanted to stay in oxford right now while everything's locked down because like traveling just is not an option so i'll be moving in i'd say the end of march early april is kind of when it's planned for obviously it's kind of a little bit weird because I'm already here right now because of the fact that everything's locked down and I couldn't just keep coming to and from. And also my life was getting very stressful, like coming to and from Oxford, like sometimes multiple times a week. It's really actually quite hard to do. I know it's only like an hour and a half drive, but my God, that is hard when you're doing it all the time and you're having to pack a suitcase and then unpack it. And then by the time I had unpacked my suitcase, I was packing it again to leave, which is just not an ideal way to be living. I'm gonna put some contour around my mouth just because I feel like it gives a really nice effect. It gives like a really nice shadow. And it just makes your lips look a little bit bigger. And I'm also gonna contour here, just on the collarbone area. yeah that's that's what's going on in my life i'm really nervous about moving to oxford i am going to be looking to make new friends here if you guys do live in oxford please do let me know because i don't know like anyone here i'm just using an eyeliner and just doing a little inner corner liner so i know that some of you guys do live here because i've got quite a few messages from people saying oh i live in oxford we should meet up blah 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 stuff like that so I know that some of you guys are here. I'm just adding some brown shadow underneath my eyes. My makeup brushes are in the other room. So I'm just using my finger. I would usually use a, uh, a little flat top brush for this, but I don't want to go get them and disturb all the dogs. I'll work fine. Just to darken it up a little bit and add some depth. First coat of mascara on now. Because I probably do like three coats of mascara on my lower lashes. There we go, just add a little bit more depth and then I'll do my brows. So I wasn't, I'd never planned to like address this anywhere online. As it's happening, I'm realizing that it's pretty much 
impossible to just avoid it. A lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram saying, are you in a relationship? Why are you moving to Oxford? Like, what's the reason behind it? Because I have never like mentioned moving to Oxford ever on this channel. Like it's, it's never been a plan of mine, but basically I'm in a relationship. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you'll know who, because I feel like the majority of people have kind of clocked on just from like little things that I've posted, like little tiny glimpses on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, definitely go follow me. I feel like the majority of people have kind of clocked on and I have had a lot of like questions and stuff like that asking me like what the case is with her. I don't know how much I really want to talk about it right now. I might kind of do a full on video about it at another point. I've really done a bad job with my eyebrows, but they need plucking, so I'm just gonna deal with it. They look absolutely huge right now. They need something doing to them. But yeah, I just don't know how much I wanna talk about it right this moment in time because I never intended on ever discussing relationships and stuff like that online. It's not something I've ever done, and I don't know how much of it she wants me to say so i'm just gonna leave it at that for now but i am in a relationship i'm moving to oxford because she lives here um and originally i wanted to move to cambridge i went there in like the summer and i just like fell in love with the place it's absolutely beautiful it's just like a really like stunning city almost like a family vibe there like somewhere that you'd want to raise children um i'm just contouring right now by the way I just got a very much like family vibe from Cambridge. It's like somewhere I could like kind of feel myself putting like roots down and maybe wanting to like have kids and stuff like that there. Just like a really homely place. It's beautiful, it's really, really nice there. There just seems to be so much to do. It's so close to London and it's somewhere that I just really, really loved and definitely was considering moving there. Looking, I was looking at buying houses there. That's how much I was interested in it, but then obviously things change and I feel like it would be very selfish of me to ask her to move when I have a job that I could do literally anywhere. Once I actually thought about it, I thought, you know, I can't really ask someone to give up their job that they've been in for like years so that I can live somewhere that I potentially might not even like. I've never lived in Cambridge. I've just visited and she loves her job and it's not a job that you can just like pick up and move. She loves where it is. She loves the people. She loves the environment. So I just don't think it would be fair for her to give that up for me. I'm not saying she wouldn't because I think she would, but I just don't think it's fair of me to ask it when I can move and Oxford is a lovely place. Like to say that you're moving to Oxford is like who wouldn't want to do that i mean i live in wolverhampton so to move from wolverhampton to oxford is like a major upgrade it's not my first choice but things aren't forever things could change in 10 years we might decide to move in 10 years you never know oxford is totally fine i'm actually really looking forward to moving here now that i've kind of lived with the idea for a little bit and let it kind of settle in to my own brain um, I am actually looking forward to living here and kind of laying down some of my own roots because obviously right now it's just like her friends and her family which puts me in a really like difficult position because I might as well tell you now I'm having to give my cats to my mom, which I honestly don't even want to talk about because it makes me so upset I've literally just avoided the topic she has two dogs one of which cannot live with a cat so I've had to give my cats to my mom, which I'm really upset about but I'm also okay because there's another cat there. My mom is really good with animals and they'll have more stability there because obviously I'm all over the place. I travel a lot. At the minute I've been to and from Oxford all the time so my mom's been having to go around and see the cats and stay with them which hasn't really been fair on anyone so my mom's had the cats which is like so sad for me because they were both rescues. If you, if you don't know I've got two cats called Rufus and Thanos and they were both rescue cats both of which would have been put to sleep if I didn't have them and I just feel so sad that I've had to rehome them because they are such nice cats especially Thanos he is like if you imagine like the perfect cat like the perfect size the perfect weight the perfect temperament that's Thanos he is literally the most lovely cat in the entire world like no cat will ever replace Nos like he is just like the best cat ever i love him so much and i'm not even the biggest cat person and obviously i'm having to give up my house 
which as you guys probably know from watching all my vlogs i've just finished <laughs> i've just got it to the way i wanted it to be and i'm having to move and start again here so i've literally spent like thousands on redoing the house which is like all for somebody else's benefit <laughs> which is really annoying but whatever you can't change anything and then i'll have to spend thousands again here changing things to the way that will fit both of our style because right now this is just like lose stuff obviously because it's her house that's you know it's a lot to give up and i'm moving away from all my family and all my friends like my whole life is in wolverhampton and like i haven't even spoke about this properly to anyone because i don't want to make her feel bad i don't want to put it on friends because friends are really sad about the fact that i'm leaving and so is my family but like chuck i see him every single day i see my mom every single day i see my nan almost every single day and all of my family are within like a 10 minute drive from me all of my friends are within 10 minutes it's a bit like daunting like actually thinking about it this is a recap i've just done a little bit of wing liner with black shadow then i use this tropic lip balm to get the foundation well not foundation concealer off my lips and then i'm gonna use this lip liner i don't recommend this one i recommend the mac uh, i think it's dervish the name of it but i don't have a sharpener for it so i'm having to use this one part of me can't believe the fact that i am actually just like leaving <laughs> like my entire family and my house all my friends and just like moving to a place where i know one person like that's really scary especially for someone like me because i am not a social butterfly in the slightest i really struggle to make friends because i'm i'm so nervous i'm such a nervous person people see me as very rude because i can be quite guarded and i'm so quiet the amount of people that have said to me like oh i thought you're gonna be a bitch and stuff like that is absolutely unbelievable i think i have a very kind of like standoffish look to me because i'm so nervous in reality i'm standing there going oh my god if i say anything they're gonna hate me like i'm i'm not like a judgy person i'm not nasty about people and i'm definitely not gossipy like i'm the opposite to that and people like just take my shyness in like a completely different way which i completely understand if i met someone and they just kind of stood there like I'd be like, um, so I do understand it, but it is just my like painful shyness. I don't know, I don't know what I can do about it. So that's very daunting moving to a place where I've got to like start again. So if anyone lives in Oxford and wants to be my friend, please let me know. <laughs> okay, so that is my makeup completely done. Very simple, very easy. That takes me like 10 minutes in the morning. It's so easy to do. It's very like natural looking. It's not too heavy. I feel like it just really works for like a daily basis kind of like any situation if you end up popping out for dinner or drinks you're kind of like ready to go you could even just leave the liner off and then you could just turn it from like a day to night look by just adding some black liner maybe some red lipstick you'd be sorted it's not too heavy on the face i don't wear foundation unless it's like a really 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 special occasion and even then i usually just skip past it i used to wear tinted moisturizer but just like stopped because i just don't feel like my skin needs it i feel like my skin's in a really good place apart from this rash which is almost gone but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you like this look that's my little update for you guys i know that's a lot of information to take in one video but the plus side is look forward to moving vlogs look forward to some new content look forward to some massive life changes look forward to a new podcast only fans go subscribe i am um, just really excited about this year i feel like it's going to be a really amazing year i feel like there was a lot of changes made towards the end of 2020 and i feel like i learned a lot about myself as a person during 2020 and the fact that i need to prioritize my mental health more than i do my business because i definitely hit some really low points of like being exhausted last year so i hope you guys have a lovely year happy 2021 that just kind of sounds mental 2021 crazy but yeah hope you guys have a lovely year i mean it can't really get worse than last year unless the vaccine turns everybody into zombies it can't really get worse but fingers crossed everything gets back to normal this year and everyone can just kind of enjoy this year and i'm sure this summer will be absolutely amazing i've already got two holidays booked for this year because I just can't wait to get out of this country. I'm getting serious cabin fever about the fact that I cannot leave England apart from to go to Dubai where I will be arrested for being a lesbian. So that's great. That's lovely. I love the fact that that's my only option. But yeah, I'm going to go now because I'm just rambling. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok. I make TikToks now. Follow me on TikTok. I'll see you over there. See you on Instagram. 
I'll see you soon, basically. Bye.